I've had sinus problems my whole life. Uh, as far back as I can remember, I probably had nasal polyps. And then this last summer, I got them all removed and my sinus is scraped. I'm excited to be able to smell again. I can kind of breathe through my nose sometimes, but uh, the only thing that's ever worked is a, a prednisone, which is a steroid, which isn't good to take uh, all the time. So I'm excited to be able to use a topical stint steroid that will hopefully reduce the polyps to nothing. I hope that the stents, uh, the medicated stents, will reduce my polyps to nothing and I won't have sinus problems anymore. Um, the goal is to be able to smell and taste. The polyps were super bad. Uh, couldn't smell, couldn't taste, and uh, breathe. I'd wake up having trouble breathing because I couldn't breathe through my nose and so I'd gasp for air. And then I woke my wife up too, which she wasn't very happy about that. But uh, after I lost the polyps, or got rid of them, then uh, I could breathe at night and sleep better. The best patients for this implant are patients who have already had prior sinus surgery, who have nasal polyps and the polyps are already coming back. This implant delivers steroids right to the source where we need it. It delivers the steroids in a time release fashion meaning every day. The patient doesn't have to squirt a steroid out their nose or irrigate a steroid out their nose. So if they're unable to do it or they don't want to do it, this steroid's working 100% of the time. So this disease, sinonasal polyps, it's just like asthma. People with asthma have to take a daily inhaler. People with sinus polyps really have to take some type of daily steroid, usually a spray device, to try to decrease the polyp recurrence rate. This does that for them. He doesn't have to do anything now. The implant's in there, and every day it's going to release just enough steroids to help shrink these polyps.